a state of emergency when it comes to insurance. That's what Placer County leaders want Governor Newsom to declare. They sent him and the California Insurance Commissioner a letter this week saying too many people in Placer County are getting dropped by their homeowners and commercial insurance companies and struggle to afford a policy with the FAIR plan. That's California's bare bones, high cost insurer of last resort. Rose Gonzalez lives in the Whitney Ranch neighborhood of Rockland in Placer County, but she learned even a neighborhood like hers is not safe from California's insurance crisis. Her carrier, Kemper, sent Gonzalez a letter notifying her they were dropping her policy. It basically says that we were in a wildfire area. Gonzalez went from paying an annual premium of about $1,600 with Kemper to $1,900 now with Bamboo. But she knows people living in more rural parts of Placer County pay thousands of dollars more. It's truly a crisis. This week, Placer County supervisors voted unanimously to adopt a resolution sending a letter to Governor Newsom and California Insurance Commissioner Ricardo Lara asking them and the legislature to take immediate emergency regulatory and legislative action to strengthen and stabilize California's marketplace for homeowners insurance. We just felt it was time to make a strong statement. The good news is Commissioner Lara and his Department of Insurance are in the process of taking action at the direction and with the support of Governor Newsom. A year ago, Lara announced his sustainable insurance strategy with a promise to have it implemented by the end of 2024. It includes expediting the rate approval process for insurance companies, allowing insurance Insurers to use forward-looking so-called catastrophe modeling when pricing their products, but only if they agree to write more policies in wildfire-prone areas, and shoring up solvency protections for the California FAIR plan. That's the state-mandated insurer of last resort, which has ballooned in recent years as other carriers have pulled out of the market. Insurance experts are hopeful these measures will help stabilize the market starting next year. I think realistically, we should expect to see companies begin to re-enter the market, getting their toes a little bit wet, maybe in the first quarter. But Placer County supervisors say that's not soon enough and worry market stabilization under the commissioner's current plan could take even longer. Waiting for a year or two for more admitted carriers to come in is too long for some people. Placer County says a survey conducted in July found more than half of people surveyed say their homeowner's insurance policy was either non-renewed or renewed at a significantly higher cost. And Placer County says they have more firewise communities than any county in the nation. But as one survey respondent put it, doing the defensible space work makes you feel better, but doesn't result in any savings or protection from cancellation. That should change. Those so sorts of investments need to be recognized by the insurers. In response to the supervisor's letter, the California Department of Insurance spokesperson said in a statement to ABC 10, in part, we will continue to support Placer County and all California counties as we address this unprecedented insurance crisis together. By the end of this year, the department will have enacted multiple regulations, administrative actions, and held public meetings to transform the insurance landscape, leading to more companies writing policies across all areas of our state. In addition to Placer County, Shasta and San Bernardino counties have also passed resolutions calling for Newsom to declare a state of emergency. The governor's office tells ABC 10 in part they're actively overhauling the insurance system on an accelerated timeline and we'll have more of the office's statement on ABC10.com. And we want to hear from you. Please send us your questions about homeowners insurance crisis. Text the number you see on your screen or send us an email at to the point at abc10.com.